because of our works, I learned a whole new language and ended up rearranging the way my brain works to the point where it became instantly for me to think in English. It is the language of fandom, it is the language of the internet. This is my writing notebook. It has both original and fanfic ideas, and every single word in it is written in English. Even for fan works and through fan works, I learned a whole new language and how important it is to have a goal when, when you're trying to achieve something. Uh, that was one of the, I think, the first lessons that uh, climbing that mountain opened up a whole new world for me, uh, fandom. And uh, there was there were so many tons of people doing fantastic things, and I wanted to do what they were doing. So I started learning Photoshop, which is really fun. I started using um, Windows Move for Maker to do my own fan bits. Just wanted to write. But I wasn't sure how. Fanfic gave me a way, you know, it gave me practice, it gave me confidence, and I, I had at least an idea of what I was doing. I think, as a young fan, I thought you sort of had to follow what Canon said, you know? Canon approved couples, and uh, usually when I wrote Fanfic, it was like Canon compliant. Then I learned about things like uh, crack, about Crash surfers out that time, you never feel anything about essentially ignoring canon. I think that was a really good lesson that about you know not settling for what you see. When it comes to art, I learned about sharing. I learned that you can never really own an idea and that it doesn't matter if what you have is enough if you don't feel like what is complete because everything you produce in the end is a work in progress. Um, a lot of my views on uh, privacy and intellectual property are closely related to my work in fandom. You know, kids are on the forefront of technology and they are no more so because nobody's doing anything else, so they are, they are no way to learn it because in order to learn you need to have a master someone who will teach you that. And um, when you're just working with something that's so new, there is no one to teach it to you, so you have to learn it on your own. And especially when you're living in the middle of nowhere in a small town anywhere in the world, you, you turn to the internet. That's what you do. That's what everybody does. If I had used what was legally available to me, I, I wouldn't have learned what I did. I wouldn't have become the person uh, that I am today. My career as a creator is, uh, like I said, it's filled with purposes. I try to give up when I can. I buy comics from Mixology, I buy uh, like DVDs when they come out. And uh, I support a lot of people that are enjoying doing Patreon and Bandcamp and all that. And I'm really happy that those things exist now. So, and um, what I produce, I also make sure that it is uh, shareable. That I'm ha I want what I do to be available. I think art should be available to everyone. And resources to create art. Anyway, but to find those, I found, uh, I found things to learn, things, things to do, uh, skills, motivation, passion, friends. It gave me a way out of my born in the small town. It, it shaped my life, actually. So I'm really grateful for all the things that I found, for all the uh, support, for all the skills. Make me who I am, really.